Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video we're gonna talk about closures in Swift. So without any further ado, let's get started. So guys, closures are basically self-contained blocks of functionality that can be passed around and used in your code. So to understand this in a practical manner, we are going to take an example in which we will write an algorithm in which we will going to take a list of numbers and we will try to filter all those numbers according to a specified condition. So let's do that in our Xcode playground. Let's write the function for our, you know, algorithm which we are going to write, which will, uh, you know, filter the list of numbers according to a specified condition. So let's write filtered func, all right. And I'll give it two parameters. The first one would be a closure and it will be written like this. I'll give it an integer and it will check if it is true or not. So I write boolean. Now I'll give it a second parameter that would be our numbers, the list of numbers that we are going to give it. So it will be an, an, an array of integers. Okay. And it is going to return a list of numbers. So I'll write again array of integers. All right. So let's write the return type also. That will be an array. Okay. Now let's try to call this function. So I'll write let filtered array equals to filtered. Okay. So now I'll just hit enter right here and it will show up something like this. So I'll write num for this and we will write the code, rest of the code here which will be like this. If you want some condition to be like this, suppose I want all the numbers out of the list which are greater than five and let's give it a list as well. So in the list, I will append all the numbers. Okay. So I have given it numbers up to 10. From one to 10, I've given all the numbers, but we haven't yet, uh, you know, write the logic in our main function. So let's write the logic which will work according to our call. So let's write a for loop, which will iterate through each one of the number in the list. So I'll write like this. And if you try to print the number for this, so it must print all the numbers in the list. And you can see that in the console down below. Now let's write the main logic that is, it must work according to this condition. So let's write a if condition and if condition will have a closure and it will have this number and if it's true according to this condition this code will work this return call would work according to this condition so i'm going to write print and i'll write number so let's see what would be the result in the console down below so let me just correct the spacing okay so let's see in the console down below what will be the result of this yeah as you can see guys all the numbers which are greater than five are printed in the console down below so let's append all these numbers in a particular list and try to return return all of them so i'll create a new variable which is an array filter uh, result okay so i'll write filter result equals to and again an array of integers and I would initiate it like this. So guys, now I will append all these numbers according to our condition right in this new created array called filter result. So let's write filter result right here, filter result dot append. I will append a new element in this and the new element would be a num. So I'll return this new array called filter result in this function as well. So instead of writing this, I'll write return filter result and let's see what it would print if we write print called function called filter array. So I have just printed this new array that we, you know, called according to our specified condition and we just wrote this call. Yeah, you can see the result down below. As you can see, we gave it condition num must be greater than five. If, if we try to change the condition like this, if I try all, the, all those numbers, which are lesser than five. So it must print all those numbers in that particular array. So here we have the result one, two, three, and four are the, num are the number of, uh, you know, 
elements which are going to be printed in this according to our specified condition. So guys, we have used these closures many a times in our, uh, you know, higher order functions as well. Uh, if you haven't watched that video, I will give the link of the video in the description down below and you can watch that out. And if you have any doubt in this one, please comment in the comment section down below and I will surely reply to that. So guys, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more such videos in future. See you in the next one. Bye bye. Jai Hind. Bye. Uh -huh.